Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be cooking a pork tenderloin. I got a really good uh, deal on it at my local grocery store and uh, so it was only $8.21. So we're going to cook this whole big bad boy up and freeze half of it. So today you're going to need a pork tenderloin. Now you could half this recipe and just do a smaller one if you wanted to. Um, and you're going to need uh, golden monk fruit or you can use the golden swir, whichever you like. Um, chili powder, paprika, garlic powder, cumin, some sea salt or pink salt. I'm using some chopped freeze-dried onions. If you don't have those, go ahead and use a, an onion chopped up. And it would probably be the amount I'm gonna use about a half of an onion. Um, and then I'm gonna use some pepper. So all of those are going into the crock pot with the pork tenderloin. And then uh, it's gonna cook pretty much all day, six or seven hours, something like that. I will let you know at the end. And you can serve it on a smart bun, you can serve it with a salad, you can serve it in low carb tortillas. I'm going to serve it with a side of mashed cauliflower, loaded cauliflower mash tonight. And uh, I will show you all that later, but let's get all this in the pot and get it cooking. Things first, we have to cut this bad boy in half because obviously it's not gonna fit in there all in one piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that in half now. All right, we have got both pieces in the crock pot and now I'm gonna start adding all my seasonings very thoroughly to both sides of each piece. Um, you could also take this if you wanted guys um, and slice it up like pork chops if you wanted to do that with half of it or if you wanted to do that with the whole thing and season it however you want and cook it in the oven. That would be another way, thing that you could do with this pork tenderloin. All right, so I've thoroughly uh, put some of the sea salt on there and I'm gonna pepper. I would say, I mean, measurement wise guys, I just kind of make sure it's really coated all over both sides. I'm gonna do this side, then I'll flip it and do the other side. Um, I would say maybe a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, maybe a little more. It's really to taste, guys. So I've got that done. I'm gonna go ahead and put my cumin. You could even, like I said, you could put this in a local carb tortilla and do like tacos with it if you're not feeling barbecue. Um, but we're going to do it with the Alterna Sweets uh, barbecue sauce. So this is my paprika, smoked paprika. Chili powder. About a tablespoon of my chopped onions and then I'm gonna put half of the monk fruit and then I'm gonna flip it and do the same thing to the other side with the same spices all right so I've got the other side coated my last step is that I'm gonna drizzle some alternative sweets barbecue sauce over the top and then I'm just gonna put the lid on it and let it cook I don't need any other liquid than this barbecue sauce so I'm just gonna and then I'll save some for if we want to top it later on, on our plates. All right, I'll show you what this looks like in a few hours. All right guys, so I am just checking on this. It's been about eight hours actually. I let it go a little bit longer than I usually do, but I'm glad I did because it's really good and ready to go. And I'm gonna take and break it up with this um, spatulator and then we'll have it for dinner. So I'm gonna break this up and I'll show you what it looks like. So I broke this up and now I'm just going to let it sit on warm until we get ready to eat. And then um, it did cook out a lot of juice so I'll use my slotted spoon to get it out of here. Um, and then we'll just top it with some more barbecue sauce and have it with our side. Okay, so I was out of mashed cauliflower and fresh cauliflower so I had some cauliflower rice. So I just whipped up some loaded cauliflower rice um, with cheese, bacon, sour cream, and butter, salt, and pepper. Um, and that's what we're having with the meat. Look at that, y'all. That's gonna be so good. Okay, here's the finished product. Yummo.